Close your eyes. And take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Watch the breath as it comes in. Watch your breath as it goes out. You can think butto along with the breath. But in, to, out means awake. It's a quality you want to develop. You want to be awake right here in the present moment, alert to what's going on. This is one of the ways of developing happiness. People are talking a lot about happiness and merriness today. But what are the causes of happiness? There's generosity, there's virtue, and then there's developing the mind. Those are the things that give rise to a happiness that's lasting. From the happiness you get from presents or the happiness you get from parties and things, that doesn't last very long. But the happiness that comes from really doing something good and knowing that you did something good. You think about it beforehand, you're happy. You think about it while you're doing it, you're happy. After you're done, you're still happy that you did it. That kind of happiness is hard to find. And so when the Buddha says, these are the ways of finding true happiness, you want to look into it and try to develop the causes for happiness as much as you can. So opportunities to be generous, opportunities to hold to your principles. These are opportunities to find happiness. Now, generosity here doesn't mean just being generous with things, although it starts that way often. But you also learn to be generous with your time, generous with your knowledge, generous with your forgiveness, and just giving fairness to one another. That's, that's a gift, too. These kind, of gener these kind of ways of finding happiness are special because not only is the happiness lasting, but it's a happiness that doesn't have any clear boundaries. When you're happy because you got a present, or you're happy because you got this position, or you, because you got this, that, or the other thing. And you're the one who gains it, but other people may have to lose. It's a happiness that's specifically for you, but doesn't spread around to other people necessarily. But the happiness comes from being generous. That spreads around. You're happy that people receive the results of your generosity. You're happy. The world is a much better place as a whole. The same with virtue. It's a gift to yourself and other people at the same time. The same with the meditation. It, too, is a gift. You're training your mind to be less overcome by greed, less overcome by anger, less overcome by delusion. And so you're bound to act in ways that are good for you and better for other people, too. So these forms of happiness, which the Buddha called merit, it's not like they're brownie points or Girl Scout badges. It's the kind of meritoriousness that comes with the mind when you know how to find happiness in the right way in a way that's lasting and in a way that doesn't create boundaries, in a way that actually erases boundaries between people. That kind of happiness is something special. It really should be something you pay a lot of attention to, where you focus a lot of your energies in life. Because there's so many areas of life where we focus our energy and we don't have much to show for it. But the energy that goes into being generous, the energy that goes into being virtuous, the energy that goes into developing the mind through meditation. That pays off all around.